today is the beginning of the rains. The monks have to make a determination they're going to stay here for the three months, except when they have important business, and they can go away for at most seven days. But otherwise, it's a time to stay settled and to focus extra energy on the practice. Of course, the monks have to do this. The lay people can do this, too. If you can figure out some way of adding extra energy to your practice for the next three months. Meditate more. Be more careful about the precepts. Take on more precepts. If you have some habits you know that are not good habits, what can you do to get rid of them? In other words, learning how to take delight in developing skillful qualities and in abandoning unskillful ones. So it's a good day to take stock. You know, where are you strong in the practice and where are you weak on the practice? The Buddha calls this atanyu, having a sense of yourself. And then you build on that sense of self to make your range of skills in the practice more complete. The important thing is you use some discernment in choosing areas that you want to focus on and figure out what would be a useful way of overcoming that unskillful habit. If you tend to be unrestrained in your speech, okay, how can you bring about more restraint? What kind of rules can you lay down for yourself for the next three months? If you find the mind slips off to certain topics habitually, what can you do to learn how not to do that? What replacements can you make? In other words, you have to be discerning both in your aims and in the means to take you there. And then once you've made up your mind that this is going to be the proper thing to do, then be true to it for the next three months. This is one of the reasons why they do this for the three months. It's not like you're taking a vow for the rest of your life. You're trying it out to see if it works. You're willing to let go of anything that gets in the way of your vow. Even some of your cherished pleasures you realize you've got to give up because we're looking for something bigger. As the Buddha said, the sign of wisdom is when you're willing to abandon a lesser pleasure for the sake of a greater one. And you have to learn how to keep your mind calm through all of this. Don't get worked up about what you're having to do without or how much effort's involved in this. Do your best to keep your mind calm and serene as you're following through with this. And this way you find that it's a lot easier to bear with. You're not adding any unnecessary burdens on yourself with that constant commentary about, well, gee, I really miss that, I'd really like to have that, boy, would I... Whatever. Just let it go. You've been involved in those conversations for way too long. It's time to have some new conversations in the mind. And this is a good time to test things out. You make a vow for three months, and at the end of three months you realize it wasn't working. Okay, you can let it go. No problem. If it is working, then you can continue with it. It's a time to try things on. So think about this today, and you know, what kind of special vows you'd like to make for the next three months. And try to embody these qualities of discernment, truthfulness, letting go, and calm. And see how a change in your behavior can really make a change in your life. <laughs>